Secretary Catalino Escuy, Chairman, Dangerous Drugs Board, Sir. Also, Police General Archie Francisco Gamboa, Chief, Philippine National Police. Good morning, Sir. We also have Director 3, Randy Pedroso, Officer in Charge, Deputy Director General for Administration, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. Good morning, Sir. To all PIDEA service directors and other officials, both from PNP and PIDEA, who are present today, and also to our distinguished guests, let us put ourselves in the holy presence of our Lord. Almighty Father, we come to you today to bow our heads and open this event in prayer. We acknowledge your holy presence today. We ask for your guiding hands to lead us through this disruption of dangerous drugs event. Lord, we entrust to you everything in our lives, despite of the challenges brought about by the present pandemic that we are facing in our society today. We also come to you because we believe that you will always make way for us. For you have said in your word that your ways are higher than prayers. We pray for your spiritual guidance because we are nothing without you. Lord, we pray for our leaders from the president down to the lowest position in the government. Give them your uh, heavenly wisdom with holy fear so that they can lead with integrity and strength to do what is right for the benefit, benefit of the people. As government employees, which never fails. Midas Marquez, Court of Administration, Supreme Court of the Philippines. Gandang umaga po. Secretary Catalino Escuy, Chairman, Dangerous Drugs Board. My uh, mentor, Police uh, General Archie Francisco Gamboa, Chief, Philippine National Police. Sabi nila magkamukha daw kami pero mas pogi si Sir sa akin. <laughs> Mukadete daw kami sir, sabi nila magkamukha daw kami sir eh. Uh, Honorable Veronica Tokyo Igot, Presiding Judge, RTC Branch 65, Makati City. Honorable Gai Gaisol Luna, uh, Presiding Judge, assist Assisting Judge, RTC Branch 5, Tracy Mar Martires City. Akabite. Uh, Honorable Raul Villanueva, Deputy Court Administrator, Supreme Court of the Philippines. Uh, my Mista, Police Brigadier General Rolando Hinanay, uh, Chief uh, Crime, PNP Crime Laboratory, uh, OIC Deputy uh, Director General for Administration, uh, Director 3, Randy Pedroso, Of course, uh, Chairwoman of C CCAPS NGO, Ms. Mariel Po. Honorable Jaime uh, Sierra, Chairman Barangay Ag Aguado, Trece Martires, Cavite City. Guest, uh, members of uh, the media, Members of Drug Law Enforcement uh, Units, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, this morning, we are about to destroy the biggest 
uh, drug hound or biggest uh, destruction in the history of drug law enforcement. We will about to destroy 2.1 tons of shabu worth 13.36 billion pesos. Palakpakan po na natin ang ating uh, drug law enforcement. Uh, sobra po sa kalahati dito ang haul ng ating uh, Philippine National Police and the rest is uh, coming from the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. No, yung second sa pinakamalaki uh, what were destroyed on July 27, 2018 na kung saan one ton of shabu of uh, dangerous drugs worth 10.39 billion pesos were destroyed. So today, uh, total amount of uh, dangerous drugs, total weight from uh, July 1st, 2016 up uh, up today, up, to, up until today, nakapag uh, destroy na po tayo ng 9.22 tons and 5,620 uh, liters of dangerous drugs amounting to 45.13 billion pesos. Ito po ang pinakamalaking destruction in the history of the President sa buong Pilipinas. Palakpakan po natin ang ating President. I'm here to introduce our guest of honor and speaker Please allow me to proceed. He is a law professor, author and editor of a number of law books, admitted as a member of the Philippine Bar in March 1994. He obtained his Bachelor of Arts with a degree in economics in 1987 and Juris Doctor degree in 1993 both from the Ateneo de Manila University. He was once the chairperson of the Philippine Judicial Academy, Department of Court Administration. He started his career as, num as a summer apprentice doing legal research in the office of an associate justice in the Supreme Court in 1991. Then he became regular law clerk of several justices of the Supreme Court. He was concurrently the court administrator, spokesperson of the Supreme Court, chief public information office of the Supreme Court, and chief of staff of the Supreme Court chief justice. As, a, as the 14th court administrator for the lower courts, he holds the record for the longest serving Supreme Court Administrator. His responsibilities include the judicial discipline of lower court justices, judges, and personnel, administrative intervention in case management of lower courts, overseeing halls of justice and court houses, issuing court circulars and memoranda, and providing public assistance and information. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor and speaker is no less than the Justice, Justice Jose Maidas Pascual Marquez. Ay, uh, magsiupo po tayong lahat. Uh, maraming maraming salamat. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Uh, maraming salamat uh, General Villanueva Ang haba ng introduction Mas mahaba pa yata Doon sa sasabihin ko <laughs> Hindi ko alam na Akala ko manunood lang tayo Ng uh, destruction of uh, Illegal drugs eh. Meron palang uh, konting uh, uh, Salitaan dito But, uh, Just the same uh, Of course si Secretary Catalino Coy Of the Chairperson ng Dangerous Drugs Board eh, Matagal na po kaming Nag-uugnayan ano? Siguro 3-4 years na, no? uh, patuloy naman ng ating uh, uh, coordination. No? And then, of course, si General Archie Gamboa, uh, a personal friend also, no? and of uh, General uh, Wilkin Villanueva of uh, PIDEA, 
ang ating um, Justice Raul Villanueva, ang ating uh, Deputy Court Administrator for Luzon. Uh, sabi ko, kahit holiday, dapat pumunta ka dito dahil area mo to. <laughs> so, of course, yung ating dalawang judges, uh, Judge uh, Luna and Judge Egot, um, our other um, uh, officials from the PNP, Tapidea, Media, and uh, fellow workers in government, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ang ating pong masasaksihan ngayong umaga ay uh, pinag-uutos ng batas. No? Ang uh, PIDEA and PNP, uh, they will of course uh, confiscate illegal drugs. And then nandun sa po sa batas na talagang dapat yan ay uh, merong destruction in the presence no? of some uh, government officials and media. No? So, yun po ang uh, mangyayari ngayong umaga. Uh, but before that, parang meron pang ano, no? meron pang testing, no? meron tayong chemist para talagang siguraduhin na yung uh, ipapasok doon sa incinerator, eh, hindi pa napalitan. No? So, kasama po yun sa proseso. No? So, Medyo matagal yata yan eh, no? Mga, kasi ang dami. No? Ito yung uh, sabi nga ni General Villanueva, uh, this is the biggest uh, destruction of illegal drugs in the history no? of uh, the country. No? Hindi lang PDEA, hindi lang PNP. No? So, nagpapasalamat lang ako no? sa ating mga kay General Villanueva, of course kay General Gamboa for, and Secretary Kuy no? for uh, inviting us here and to witness. No? Uh, this uh, momentous event. No? At uh, gusto ko lang din sabihin na ang ating kataas-tasang hukuman no? at ang ating uh, Office of the Court Administrator ay kaisa sa ating mga kapulisan, sa PIDEA, sa Dangerous Drugs Board. No? Sa talagang pagtigil at talagang total eradication of the dangerous drugs. At kaya po, actually, kailan ba yung mga siguro two, two weeks ago, no? General Archie, nung nag nagkita kami ni General Gamboa sa Camp Krame at uh, napag-usapan namin ano yung ano pang pwedeng gawin para talagang uh, matigil ang uh, uh, illegal drug trade no? at uh, kaya pinangako kay General Archie eh, sabi ko sige in 2 3 days maglalabas kami ng circular no and uh, I hope uh, that circular uh, has proven to be effective Sabi ko, pag hindi sumunod yung mga judges, uh, no offensement, uh, Judge Luna at Judge Egot, ah. pag hindi sumunod, isumbong nyo kay DC Irul. <laughs> no, but uh, nan nandun po talaga yun sa batas, eh, no? na pag uh, nagkaroon ng entrapment operation or nagkaroon ng merong na-confiscate, talagang uh, trabaho po ng ating mga West na mag-ocular inspection. And uh, after the ocular inspection, I think in 24 or 48 hours, mag-i-issue ng order to destroy. No? Kukuha lang ng uh, uh, sample, no? representative sample, para yun ang gagamitin during trial. Pero talagang dapat yon right away, eh, eh, those uh, illegally, <coughs> illegal drugs no? have to be destroyed right away. At ang... Ang ano doon, ang um, ang dahilan doon ay para nga hindi ano, hindi mapalitan, hindi bumalik doon sa illegal trade, no. So, again, um so lang sabihin no na our Supreme Court, the Office of Court Administrator, no, is um, one with the um, law enforcement uh, agents, so officials in um, really trying to eradicate uh, our uh, drug problem, no. So, General Villanueva, General Archie, and Secretary Koy, kung meron pa pong pwedeng maitulong ang ating uh, Office of the Court Administrator, huwag eh, kayong mag, ano, magpatubiling magsabi no? at uh, kami handa pong tumulong. Maraming salamat po. Okay, so say my the P. Marquez for that very uh, inspiring word, sir. Now let's uh, move forward to the awarding of plaque in token of appreciation to our honorable guest of honor and speaker. May I again request our distinguished Director General Wilkins M. Villanueva uh, to be assisted by Police General Archie Gamboa of uh, PNP Appreciation Reese.
Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Honorable Jose Mindes P. Marquez, Court Administrator, Supreme Court of the Philippines, in recognition of his effort and support for PIDEA and our nation's war against illegal drugs. Awarded this uh, 21st day of August 2020 at Integrated Waste Management Incorporation, Barangay Eduardo Trece Martres Cavite. Signed, Wilkins M. Villanueva, MPA, CESE, Director General, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency. Let's give him a, a, a warm up. Plus. And also, uh, chemists from the uh, Philippine National Police are also requested to come in front for the disruption proper. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Th